everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today to showcase the fun new deck that we have. I actually played it at the last, the little GP we just had this last weekend. I didn't do so well, but I wasn't ready for lots of extra turn two kills that I didn't know about, but <laughs> yeah. it is what it is. There's so many out there. Yeah, it happens, but it's fun. I'm glad we're at least having GPs again and we're back into the actual like competitive scene, so I'll get to start playing Force Will again and, you know, it's going to be interesting. Yep. Um, but before we get into it, guys, I remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It takes just a dollar to give us some love and support, and we greatly appreciate it. Also, if you do support us on Patreon, you'll get to see all these decks early and like all our extra stuff in Patreon. We have other decks, other just Patreon-only stuff, so go check it out. Uh, down below as well, you'll see the link to our Force Will Grimoire app. It is our app that we created for the Force Will game. It is a deck builder slash database for the game. And it's super simple, super like streamlined on what you want, want, what to do for it. Like if you need to build a deck on the fly, you're like, cool, I need to build this deck. Let's do it. You get to. It's super nice. We use it all the time to build all of our decks. Done. So with that, let's delve into Rush of Minions. So I chose to play mm -hmm. one of the older rulers because I like them. I like him a lot, and I thought he was gonna be really good, which he still could be. It's just it's super difficult. Uh, so we played Gil Apis. And he is the uh, black ruler with black like moon ruler from the last set of uh, Ataractia. Um, he judges for a black, black, and a moon. Whenever a darkness regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If the regalia is world ender, choose one again. You look at the top three of your deck, reveal a card from among them, put it in your hand, put the rest in the bottom of the deck in any order, or name a card, you gain limit break of that card. And then while he's in play on this side, you can play the attribute of minions and moon arts with any will, which is super nice. Yeah. And it's what, what powers a lot of the deck slash just the drawability of drawing three really, really strong. When he judgments, he is a 12-12 flyer. Enter, search your deck for a minion and put it in the field. If you do gain limit break of that minion, then shuffle your deck. Good. This card gets plus eight, plus eight as long and precision as long as he's limit broke and as well. You get to tap, target, destroy target, resonate until the end of the game. You may play God's Art abilities. You played this game one additional time. And then his God's Art is pay a black and a moon. This card gets uh, resonated your opponent control, get minus four, minus four. So you just do it multiple times after each time you kill a dude, and you get to just keep doing things. Yeah. And the fact that it's just always there. It's a static ability for him. Yeah, it's super nice. And he was very powerful when he first came out, for sure. And just especially the minions out there can get very wild. Yeah. Uh, of course, the first one we have is Yudrasil, uh, the one mana zero four. Enter, go search your deck for Regalia that shares the same attribute as you paid for it, and then uh, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle the deck, and then tap produce one will of any attribute. Play this to play Regalias. Mm -hmm. uh, next is Suya, the Curse Spawn of the Stars, less Curse of Ragnarok. It is one black for a four four. Uh, enter, target player banishes a non magic stone, non general entity. Put X counters on this card where X is the total of the entity banished. You may pay a black less to play cards called Curse of Ragnarok, which that is the enchant or the uh, spell. Uh, two black chant, look at your opponent's hand, choose a card they remove from the game. Yep. And if he's in play, it costs one, which is really, really nice. He's just good because when he dies, he can still be useful mm -hmm. in the end game. And of course, the one we just recently showed off is Snow White the Red Apple. She has a one, a zero, zero, resonator, quick cast, first strike. This card gains, jumps in the field with an X-1-1 one, one counter on it, where X is the total damage dealt by sources you control this turn divided by 100. And the chant part is, of course, is Apple Avenger. It's a quick cast. This card deals X damage divided as you choose to any number of J resonators your opponent's controls, where X is the total damage that was dealt to you this turn. If X is uh, 1,000 or more, this card Snow White put it in the field. Then it'll just get bigger with all the counters. Oh, yeah. Next is Miria, the Fallen Vampire. She has one black for a 4-4 four, four flyer. Enter. This card does 400 damage to target Resonator. You gain that much life. And then if it's revealed by a gill, you deal 4 damage, gain 4. And her limit break is if this card would deal damage, it deals double that much instead. So if she Pretty does good. have limit break, you get to come in and shoot for 8 and gain 8, which is kind of nice. Yeah. But otherwise, she's just an 8-4 four for 4 with limit break. Now we have another one. Uh... Lilius Petal slash slash the waking of the nine tailed fox. It's a one drop resonator, four four. There's a theme here. And then of course, enter, destroy, target damage res J resonator. When this card is put in the field by effect of its awakening of the fox part, put nine one one counters on this card. It also has quick cast. So the chant part has quick cast as well. This chant deals 900 damage to each J resonator. If you control three or more magic stones with the different names, put it on the field. Pretty much, which is pretty cute. 
Next up is Sylvia, Minion of Lapis. It is a green and a red for a 7-7 swiftness. Pay a moon, it gets plus 300. And Limit Break, she gets plus 3-3. And Flying, and whenever this card attacks, it deals that much damage equal to its attack to target J-Res and your opponent controls. Most ridiculous cards ever. Yeah, she's super good for Gil. And I used it for this deck for because I wanted to be like, cool, play this for turn two, swing 10, shoot your thing for 10, play an Apple, or play a Snow White, get 10 counters. Yeah. It's really, really strong. Sounds awesome. The next one is Ariel the Seven-Tailed Fox, and then of course Ariel's Flame slash Slash. It's a two red, six eight. Whenever damage is dealt to this card, it deals that much damage to target player slash J Resonator. Air. Uh, and you can pay three red, put this card from the graveyard in the field, which is pretty awesome. Chant, quick cast, this card deals 1400 damage divided as you choose to, to target Resonator you control and target Resonator your opponent controls. You must assign a minimum of 200 damage to each target. So therefore you can just blast it off. And of course you have a fox on the field and this, then you can just basically do 1200 to your opponent space, which is pretty awesome. And th this also comes back. So no matter what you put in the graveyard, you're just returning like mm -hmm. value and such. Next up is Alisaris, Minion of Lapis. Mm. It is two red for a six, six, enter, name a counter, remove, all, remove up to four counters with that name from any number of cards in all zones. Uh, limit break is, is he gains quick cast. You may pay a red less to play this. When you remove a counter by this card, put a 1-1 counter on each J resident you control, remove this way. He's really only there just so you can, uh, whenever you Judgment Gil Lapis, you get to go get him. That was mainly why he was there. Yeah. Okay, we have Abdul, and then of course, uh, slash, slash Dark Pulse. Uh, Abdul is 2 black, 6-6 six, six resident here. Entering the field under your opponent's control does not cause... So Resonators enter the play abilities do not cause any effects, which is amazing. And then the chant part is quick cast destroy all resonators with total cost two or less. Uh, mm. And then finally for the resonators, we have Lynneth, the Dark Priestess. She is three, uh, two black and moon for a 10 10 with Drain and Bane. And when limit breaks, she gets flying and barrier resonator. And enter, you choose destroy regalia, destroy all strange resonators, reveal the 12 apostle from outside the game, put into the field. That's mostly what you choose when you play her in this deck, because right now strangers aren't really a thing and Regalia is not much a thing, but you have the ability to kill them if you need to. Yeah, for sure. All right. <clears throat> the first spell we have is Black Moonlight's uh, one black, quick cast. Target Resonator gets plus eight, plus eight until the end of the turn. If you control limit break of the of name of Target Resonator, it also gains Eternal and Barrier until end of turn. Uh, next is Distortion of the Phenomenon. He is one black for a chant. It is name or trigger an ability of the ruler named Gil Lapis you control. And if you control Limit Break Gil Alisarius, you choose an automatic ability of a card named Gil Lapis. So all it means is if he's Limit Broke as Alisarius, you get his backside ability. Otherwise, you're going to get the frontside abilities. Yeah, not too bad. The next is World Ender. It's the Regalia. It's two black, Mythic, and your J Ruler gains Imperishable. Tap, produce two wheels of a combination of black or moon. Uh, spin this wheel only to play God's Art abilities, minions, or moon arts. And the fact that it does it for minions is just extra ramp. It's really nice. Uh, next is Lapis Dark Storm. It is two black for a, your opponent discards a card at random, and then you discards a card, and it's just a really good just moon art. Very, very awesome. The next one is the battle comes to an end, and then dot, dot, dot. It is two black and one. So name a card, switch your opponent's deck, graveyard, hand, and all cards that share the same name with that card name and remove that from the game then your opponent shuffles their deck and if you're able to do this with energized turn two then you can destroy all those combo decks really quickly mm -hmm. next is into the world it is two black and two moon for a uh, chant it is his chant if you have limit break gill lapis you choose four otherwise you choose one your opponent discard or your opponent discards two cards you draw two cards your opponent banishes two resonators and put two cards from your graveyard into play two resonators so you get to get a whole bunch of value all out of that. So it's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, it's everything you want to do in a game ever. That is it for the spells. We're going to go into the stones. They're really pretty simple. We're just playing the stones to get us there for like all the black stones. Uh, Magic Stone of the Scorched Bales. Mag uh, black Moon, Moon's Memoria. We're playing Magic Stone of the Six Sages. So you can untap Gil and Judgment that same turn. Uh, Epic Stone of the Blood, because in case revenge happens, you get free stuff. And then Black Stone, or Magic of the Black Silence. It is the green black one. So when you flip, you can play your Sylvia's because he loses the ability to play minions for free yeah. or for no for any color, so you have to pay for him. Uh, that is the deck overall. We do have one one honorable mention, and it is Sylvia's Burning Flame. It is one red chant moon art uh, quick cast. If you have limit break of Sylvia, you choose both. If otherwise, you choose one. Uh, target J Resonator gains plus eight first strike, precision and pierce. 
And this card deals 800 damage to target J Resonator, which is mostly what you're going to use it for, because <clears throat> you pay one, eight, you pay one, you shoot something for eight, and you literally just pedal kill it. Then you get to play your Snow White, and you already have eight free damage. Yeah. Or you can make your Snow White super angry if she has already a lot of counters. You're just like, cool, she gets first strike precision and pierce. Yeah. Thanks. Enjoy. Yeah. It, overall, it's a really fun card for the deck, and like just in general, this card I've seen a lot of play in, be, just because it's one mana deal eight, which kills almost everything right yeah. now that's worth it. Unlike most of those cards is like deal five, and you're like, that's not enough for anything. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, this card is definitely used, even if you're not you're doing limited break stuff. So, but the deck will still be down below, guys. Go check it out. Leave a like in the comment, and we'll see y'all again down next time. Goodbye. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.